In today's energy markets, let's focus on WTI today. WTI, another big mover today. We saw some volatility once again in the space, but we did see a weakness. Uh, WTI still trending down after the big shakeup a week ago Monday. Uh, currently right around the 56.50 level. Now we did see a low of 55. 50 today, so or excuse me, 55.55, uh, nickel higher, but nonetheless, 55.55. That's th certainly the lower end of the range for the last couple of weeks, and now it really puts us right back into the middle of the range from summer. Uh, summer range from July to the end of August, really somewhere between. Uh, 61 on the high side and 50 and a half on the low side. So we're right back in the middle of that range where WTI was trading throughout the summer. One of the driving factors today was Saudi Arabia. Saudi Arabia indicating today that they are back to 100% production capacity post uh, airstrikes. So uh, much quicker than what the market anticipated. Now, again, there's some question if that's actually true, but nonetheless, it does appear that they are very close to where they were prior to the attacks. 11.3 million barrels per day is to production level is what they're claiming. Now they do have the reserves to pull from as well, so maybe they're using some of that to make up some of that ground, but there's no question that they're back online much quicker than maybe what the market had anticipated. And I think they were motivated to do so because they do have the IPO coming up later this year. At least they're hoping to get that IPO off the ground, that Aramco IPO. So that's another motivating factor, I think, and why you're seeing all Saudi Arabia very quick to get this uh, situation corrected and get their production back online. That's uh, certainly one of the catalysts today, I think, pushing crude lower. Another catalyst is the data that came out today. Now, we had the EIA number this morning, uh, the inventory numbers uh, build once again. So we had a build last week. Now we had 2.4 million barrels build this week, uh, higher than what was expected. And that's on the heels of the API number yesterday, which was a similar type of scenario. A uh, little bit, about 1.2 million uh, barrel build yesterday in the API number. But the trend now is that we're seeing inventory is picking back up here in the United States. And I think that coupled with the uh, Saudi Arabia news is one of the, the two primary factors today why we're seeing WTI trend lower.